Hey everyone, Wes here. In this video, I wanna share with you my experience with burnout as a software developer. So I wanna talk a little bit about burnout in software development, but I'd also like to share with you some of the ways that I've dealt with burnout when I felt just totally unmotivated to continue working on the projects that I was working on. So I can really only speak from my own experience here, as well as perhaps from the experience of my friends or colleagues who have shared their own experiences with burnout with me. But for me, the times that I've felt burned out have really resulted from two different causes. The first cause I think is probably the most common and it's really the most obvious and it's just being overworked. But I think in order to understand what it means to be overworked as a software developer, we need to think about what it means to work as a software developer in the first place. And if you think about it, all of the work that we do in software development is completely cognitive in nature. So we essentially open up the laptop and we read, write, and talk with other developers about code for our entire careers. Typically, we're given some type of problem that can be solved using some type of software, and our job is to conceive of and implement the systems that can manifest themselves as applications that can solve these problems in the real world. And by problems here, I just mean problems in the broadest sense. We might be doing game development, for instance. But the point being that our work takes place really almost entirely in our own heads. And I'm not sure that everyone will agree with me about this, but I think that part of the real meaning that we get from the work that we do as human beings is in part tied to the physical activity that typically accompanies work that we do as humans. And in software development, there's just simply no physical activity in the work that we do. And I say this because if I think back about the types of activities that I enjoy doing that have a physical aspect to them, so things like working in the garden or hiking, or just even thinking about days where I've moved and I've had to move all of my stuff from one, one apartment to another, um, there's a certain type of satisfaction that comes in completing those types of tasks that really seems to be tied to the feedback that my body gives me saying that you've done some work, you've completed something, and that really small amount of physical exhaustion that accompanies that type of work, I really think is tied to the satisfaction that we get from completing it. And in software development, we never have that feedback. Furthermore, if you're anything like me, then you actually really enjoy solving problems with software and imagining systems and architecting them and seeing them manifest in the software that you build. And since it's such engaging work and such interesting work, it's really easy to spend hours at a time without looking away from the computer. Um, we never really get that feedback from our body that we are feeling exhausted. And so I know in my case anyway, it's definitely easy to spend all day on an interesting problem involving software without even really noticing the time go by. And then what happens is you do step away, but then you find yourself thinking about the problem as you drift off to sleep. And it, it's also often something that you think about as soon as you wake up, um, trying to remember what you had worked on and where you had left off and where you're gonna pick up the next day. And this cycle continues for days, weeks, months, years, and if you're not getting any physical activity during that time and you're essentially working on problems every day solely through your own mental effort, then I think it can really start to wear on your mental health. Having a physical aspect to our work um, just presents more of a, an immediate feedback that um, it's time to step away and um, and also feeling physically exhausted, I think, can often lead to better rest and more satisfying rest. Whereas purely cognitive work can lead to greater restlessness in general. And so I think that that may be one of the reasons why um, work like software engineering is just susceptible to burnout and fatigue. The second source of burnout for me has been boredom. So I think one of the main reasons we get into software is not just because we enjoy writing it, um, but we generally enjoy learning new things. And um, as a discipline, software engineering presents 
essentially limitless opportunities to learn new things. And so the feeling that we get when we begin to master a programming language, um, certainly when we're first learning to code and then uh, can start producing um, programs that actually execute the ideas that we have, that's an incredibly satisfying feeling. Likewise, learning about new design patterns or architectural patterns, um, learning new frameworks or disciplines of engineering. So if you've been doing web development and start learning more about machine learning, the act of exploration and learning within software engineering can be something that's really satisfying. So I think we can eventually burn out if we tend to ignore some of the things that we really enjoy about the discipline, which may be learning new things. And so in my own experience, I've felt burned out when the type of work I was doing as a developer was really repetitive. Um, if I was spending you know, many months on the same types of problems, um, it starts to feel less and less meaningful if there's no learning involved. So on one hand, I think we can find ourselves burned out from overwork with no physical activity involved. And on the other hand, we can find ourselves burned out if we find ourselves in situations where we're simply not learning new things and we're suffering from boredom in the work that we're doing. So now I wanna share a few different things that have really helped me work through these periods where I've been feeling burned out. The first thing for me is just finding ways to incorporate more physical activity into my life. I don't think that it's really healthy for anyone to sit in front of a computer screen for as long as we really do as software engineers. One of the most important things for myself is really making time to get more physical activity. I think that there's really nothing like physical activity to help clear your mind. Personally, I really love being outside and finding new trails to hike, and really there's nothing like being outside for me that really helps feel, make me feel refreshed. The next thing I think that is super important in dealing with burnout, um, either from overwork or from boredom, is finding things away from the computer that you find engaging, whether it's reading literature or painting or doing pottery or doing sports, whatever it is, I think it's really important to have another side to your life that doesn't involve computing. As much as I really love software development, I still feel that it's a completely unnatural activity and there's just so much more to experience in life than anything you can do on a computer. One of the things that really getting into some other hobby has helped in my case is I think um, just using other parts of your brain that you don't typically use uh, throughout your career in engineering. So if I am spending time making a painting, um, then I tend to be com using completely different parts of my brain and different types of thinking, different senses than, uh, than I do when I'm sitting in front of a computer all day. And the third thing that I'll mention here is something that's really helped me with burnout, but that's also helped me just mentally and emotionally, which is practicing mindfulness. Being present in the moment and bringing your attention to your experiences in the present moment is also something that's really difficult to do when you're programming. When you're programming, you're, you tend not to think of your body. I certainly don't. I'm really just focused on the thing that I'm building or the problem that I'm trying to solve and you can go days or weeks at a time without even really um, stepping back and just taking in a breath and observing your experiences in the present moment. In fact, engineering in general almost always involves continuous acts of judgment so that you can make decisions, whereas mindfulness is almost the complete opposite. It's really about simply observing just what is, what you're currently experiencing in the present moment without judging, without making any decisions about it, just really being aware of that experience. It's really difficult for me to explain why mindfulness has had such a profound impact on my ability to deal with burnout or restlessness, but it really has. And the more I practice mindfulness and remember to step away from the computer and just be present with my feelings and observations without judging, um, 
it has helped lower my stress levels. It's helped me feel burned out far less. And so if you're looking for ways to deal with burnout that you may be experiencing as a software developer, I hope these can provide you with some ideas. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you are dealing with burnout, I really hope that you're finding ways to take care of yourself and to step away from the computer every once in a while and to remember that there's a lot more out there than software. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.